Right, so in this one here, we're going to compare the, we're going to investigate the effect of different, bio, uh, different washing powders. One biological, one non-biological. Um, and this investigation actually came about from a, a student who just asked us, so that's what science is. When we think of a question or we think of something or we have a wondering, the only way to test it out is to test it ourselves. So we're going to make a concoction of soy sauce, turmeric and tomato ketchup, stain that onto the white linen, then we're going to put that into a beaker with some water around 40 degrees Celsius with each of the washing powders. When you're planning this investigation, we need to train one thing, the independent variable. What's the independent variable in this, on this occasion? Temperature. What's the thing we're going to change? And the, uh, Not the temperature, only the liquid. Yeah, the different type of washing powder we use. Everything else needs to stay the same. This is what scores you marks from your exam. So when you get asked what you're going to control or how you're going to improve the validity of your results, that's controlling the variables. So what do we keep the same in this one? The you said it a second ago. The temperature. Yeah, so we control the, temp the same temperature. What else about the water that we put in there? The yeah, the volume of the water, the amount of water we put in. What about these things? Yeah, you stay the same amount of these as well. Yeah. And then you can notice, I've got different materials here. What's the best one, which are the best ones to use? The white one. The white one, because you have more the of these. Or, why this one? Because you have more of these. Yeah, more of these. More they, they look like they're from the same fabric, don't they? So this way, if there is a difference in these, and I'm not saying there will be, if there is a difference, we can be sure that it's because of this, not because of the material, not because of the amount or the temperature of the water that we've used, okay? Yeah. And more importantly, like everything in biology, it's just fun making a mess as well. Yeah? Cool. Right, so we'll give this a go then. There's two things we need. A, we need to let's do this inside the green tray to make it a little bit, um, a bit better. So, um, if you two are going to do this, and you two are going to do this one, we can make a mess, yeah? Okay. Right, so we're going to put both of these, uh, both of these pieces of linen inside there. Let's have a third one just for safety. Uh, you never know. And then, you take the soy sauce, now you add a bit of soy sauce to each one, and then we'll follow on with the turmeric and the, and the tomato ketchup as well, yeah? So, try and do the same amount each time, and try and put it on in the same fashion each time as well. Maybe try and concentrate it in one area. There we go, repeat that on all of them. And I'll follow you with the uh, tomato ketchup. And then you get your hands dirty and rub it in as well. Yes, so. This is usually what my shirt looks like after a day at school. <laughs> and I have a Chinese food with a bit of turmeric on top and tomato ketchup. Mm. Let's put some of this in. There you go. Now you get the good job. Now you can rub it into the fabric. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, just give, it, just give it a good rub. <laughs> and then don't high vibe me after. <laughs> there we go. We've left that in there. While this is happening, do you two want to get each beaker, fill it with 100 millilitres of water, just the water for now? Right, so we've got two here. I've just got water in this one. What would we call this, this sample here? Uh, control. Yeah, the control. Yeah. So then we can see what happens without any biological uh, or any washing powder in it and then we can see the effect. I think this probably needs a good 15 to 30 minutes. So we're just going to submerge the material in there, 15 to 30 minutes, we'll take them out, dry them out a little bit with the hairdryer, and then we'll see and we'll make any comparison. Then you can go home and tell your mums and dads or the people in the boarding house, this is what works best in my program when they come out looking like that, okay? All right, let's go for it. If you put that one in there, you put that one in there, and I'll go for this one in the middle. So all we need to do now is make sure we know. Yeah, you can wash your hand on that now. All we need to do now is make sure we know which one is which. So if you leave that next to yours, you leave that there, and I'll put mine in the middle, and we know that's just water, and we'll come back in 15 minutes and see how they're getting on. The most important part of being a scientist is making predictions and looking for this when you get it wrong. What do you reckon a biological and non-biological have the greatest effect on the material? I think biological will have a better effect. And why do you think that is? It's because the temperature of water we use is optimum for the enzymes to work in. 
Okay, you think this one might have more enzymes in it as well? Yeah. Potentially. Okay, good. What about yourself? I think non-biological. Why non-biological? Because it, uh, it uses chemicals with enzymes as well, not just enzymes. Okay, so, so it they, could be more efficient. So those chemicals and those enzymes are going to be more targeted at that. Yeah. And when your parents were your age, or your grandparents even, um, they would have had to wash the very, very high temperatures. What would have happened to your clothes at very high temperatures? Shrink. Very yeah, yeah, shrunk. Yeah. Which I guess hardly ever happened to you guys. But I remember my favourite Ralph La- La- Lauren jumper getting shrunk. We'd have to wash it at 80, 90 degrees. So these are really beneficial for your clothes. 